Hi, this is Karen Thaxton with MarketingWords.com and CopywritingCourse.com with a little bit of a different version of the Ask Karen video blog column. This one comes from a friend of mine. Her name is Christine Cobb. You may have heard of her. She came out with a new product and created a new website to support that product of course and to sell the product and she was going to do a one particular test and was very excited this was her first effort at driving specific traffic to this brand new website to see her new product and at first glance it looked like things were not going well the person that sent out an email for her to his list had a significant following and when she told me that no sales had come in this was I think several hours after the first email went out she said oh my copy must be garbage that's it that's the problem so I told her hold on now there are many 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 other things that go on on a website that can trash your conversion rate besides your copy that's a very common reaction when things don't go well people I get emails all the time from people saying I'm not getting any sales my copy must stink well let's take a look at that and see if that's actually the case the first thing I asked her about was not her website but where this traffic was coming from who was the audience that this email was sent to by her associate because you can have the best product and the best offer and the best price and the best everything else but if you're sending it to an audience full of people who simply don't have an interest in what that product or service is then you aren't going to make any sales we confirmed that the audience was in fact targeted to this particular product they should have had an interest in this product so the next thing I wanted to take a look at was what I referred to as the trigger mechanism and by that I mean what was it specifically that drove people to this website it could have possibly been a banner ad it could have been a paid ad in this case it was an email so I asked her to send me a copy of the email and let me take a look at it what I was looking for with the email was to be very sure that it was congruent with the sales page you never want to send out an email to a list that does not coordinate with does not line up with does not in some form or fashion match or meld with the landing page it has to be consistent or you're going to get a disconnect so in the email I was wanting to make sure that they had not gotten some misrepresentation of what this product was what it was used for why they might need it etc it was in fact very well written it did line up with this sales copy that's on the page so we had two things that I was concerned about checked off the audience was good the trigger mechanism in this case an email was also good so what I wanted to check next was the offer so if you scroll down to the bottom of this page you get down here and you see it's very simple it's a one-shot deal there's no hoops to jump through there's no special considerations that you have to take care of it's not a if you share this with your friends you get a discount if you tweet about it four times and then come back with a special code you get a discount none of that you scroll to the bottom there it is it was originally sixty seven dollars and during the pre-launch or not even the pre-launch she's actually launched it now so during the launch period there's a twenty seven dollar introductory price so the offer was very clear it was easy to understand it was a good incentive for somebody to purchase at a forty dollar discount so that left the copy well about the time that we were going to go back through the copy and see what issues there may be with it sales started coming in now there was not a ton of traffic 
coming into this website because like I said it's it's newly launched she just had this one test that she was doing right away but she immediately tagged a 2.5 percent conversion rate which is very respectable conversion rate now that will change over time sometimes it'll go up sometimes it'll go down it very rarely stays exactly the same as it is when you first start driving traffic to a particular website I happen to know since that time which was several days ago Christine has gotten several other sales and her conversion rate at that point had gone down to 2.3 which is still very decent nothing to complain about there as she drives more traffic you're gonna see it go up go down go up go down and you'll just take an average of that to determine how well this page is doing does that mean that there's nothing wrong with the copy no absolutely not you'll never hear me say there's nothing wrong with copy there's always something that can be tested as a matter of fact I know that Christine has plans you can see let me scroll again because uh, I scrolled kind of fast before but you can see that this is in the format of a typical one-shot sales page there's one product for sale there's one offer this is not an e-commerce store where you've got 15 different products to choose from and whatnot so the format of it is pretty simple she is however I think going to test a short copy version of this particular page that does not have the long scrolling copy that you have to scroll and scroll and scroll so that will give her something what else can you test headlines always test headlines this you can test the subhead which is down here you can test the opening section because that's the second biggest portion that's read the second biggest segment of the copy that's read you can test the audience maybe there's a better audience that's a that has uh, a greater need for this product or service than the one she originally sent the test email to go after different audiences and see maybe there's a different offer that she could make beef it up a little bit she had one bonus in there uh, maybe she could add another one maybe instead of a uh, uh, consultation or a webinar or whatnot she can add an additional ebook there's all sorts of different things you can do with your offer maybe it's the price the price could be too low people don't see value in this product because the price is is so low right now and they think it must be one of these other you know crappy little ebook offers or whatever even though it says it's a package with a system that includes videos and uh, ebook files and what have you uh, delivery is something maybe people don't like the digital delivery you know physical product versus digital product there's always something that can be tested in addition to the ones I've named I, I'm also going to put a link under the video on the marketing words blog to an article that I wrote about five additional things that can trash your sales on your website besides your website copy so be sure to click over there and underneath the video I'll leave you a link to Christine's site so you can look at the copy that she has up at this particular point in time so in this particular case nothing was the culprit uh, turned out that she just needed to wait a little bit of time and the sales started coming in like I said always look for ways to improve your conversion rate never think that you've gotten the best that you can get because there's always room for improvement I hope this has been helpful to you next time you run a test or whatnot uh, you send an email you do a promotion and it just doesn't work out the way you want it to don't jump to the conclusion that it's your copy because it's not necessarily the case check out all the different options that could be impacting your conversion rate because you can only make progress when you find out where the problem is and then you correct that problem I'm Karen Thaxton with copywritingcourse.com and marketingwords.com. I hope you found this helpful. If you have, please be sure to share this post and this video on your favorite social network.